Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently working through the Valert Enlightened Kingdom, and we're kind of steamrolling them at this point, so that is absolutely great. Now these guys are heading up to Lemsa, that seems fine, we're attacking Zom as well. We are negative in energy credits right now, which is a problem, certainly. Let's grab energy credits from Jobs, that'll be okay for the time being. This generator world we could clear a tile blocker on, and... Actually, that's not a terrible concept. That'll allow us to build more generator districts. So we'll get that going. Any other worlds that we need jobs on? I mean, a lot of these worlds are not going to be all that great for the time being. Yeah. We're working on exterminating a lot of people on a lot of worlds. So that's okay. We're going to be attacking over this direction. We are continuing our attack up this direction. Just getting a bit situated here. So let's push down this way for the time being. What other fleets do we have that aren't doing anything? So currently this fleet is holding Franfred. That seems okay. This fleet is holding here. That seems fine. The fifth attack swarm is holding Raima. That seems okay. 37th attack swarm is holding Kiyu. That seems okay. These guys are being built up. That'll take some time. And these guys are moving. Okay, so that looks great. Let's hit the reinforce all button and be sad about how much we still need to reinforce. But we'll definitely get that underway. We'll move up to fast speed. Cool. Crushing. So that's a bit of a recap on where we are here. We're trying to knock the alert out of the space war at this moment before we do anything else. Although we are pushing through their planets simultaneously. So that'll be okay once they're knocked out. I mean, at this point, just the fact that we've eliminated these factions here and the Skinnerians is a big deal. We are being attacked in the Tunari Vortex with a roughly 130k fleet. That's a pretty strong fleet, no doubt about that. We could pull the Q fleet on over here. We'd go via the LR9 Singularity, which I think is okay. That seems fine. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. So that's great. We've got several fleets attacking up over this direction. We did finish up this archaeological site. The present dark and lifeless interior of the space station almost succeeds in hiding the fact that it must have been designed as some kind of luxurious pleasure palace. There are seemingly endless rows of rusty slot machines, hundreds of decrepit bars and restaurants, and amidst it all, thousands of bodies. Dead, partially mummified aliens of at least a dozen different species can be found everywhere. But most of the bodies are clustered around the empty escape pod base. Oh, okay, so they were attempting to escape. Cool. So we're of course going to continue to push through all of this out over this way. And it'll take some time to get pushed through the alert. We've not finished up any attacks down over this direction just yet either. Okay. Keeping an eye on our starbase cap, we are not maxing that out just yet. Zom is not fully controlled, so we're going to land on Vril Raka, assuming that's okay. And it is 914. We should... Okay, they're definitely moving a number of forces through here. We should probably consider building additional armies in mechas, and we'll just spend our current amount of alloys, or rather, minerals, on that. I'm not too concerned about this fleet right now. We built an observation post around Trejum 2 to study its inhabitants, only to realize the Gok Furki are the ones studying us. They're fully aware of the existence of other alien species and have quickly noticed the existence of our scientists and drones. Our previous activity in the solar system must have alerted the Gok Furkurian civilization of our presence. Keeping our existence hidden is meaningless at this point. So we are attacking up over this direction. That's all fine. We're going to hit Sao very shortly. And is this fleet... Okay, these orders are reasonably acceptable. So we want to head to Merrill into Wildor and just clear out this area. Then we can focus on this over here. We've actually nearly got the Valert eliminated here, at least in the space sector. On land, it'll be a little while longer. No doubt about that. And once we have the Valert and Picklings eliminated, we can't actually fight the Varan, and this war yeah, isn't going to go longer. away. So the way that this is probably going to end up working is we're going to have to finish the Etherophasic Engine. It's the current theory, anyway. I wish that we could uh, target black holes, but obviously we can't do that. So I think, realistically, what do we have for another location to crack? Navi. 
This would be a good one. So let's position our construction ship up over here as well. So in Daglon. There we go. That'll do. We finished up our attack in Lemsa, and we definitely want to attack up here, assuming this is fine. 484, it should be okay. Beautiful. We also want to look at locations that we have just taken over to see if they have any of those awkward situations for us. And it looks like most of them do not up over this way. No, none of those very strange mega structures, so it seems okay. Cool. So we can push through Soao and head to Diadem and then Odlaman. That'll be fine. And this force is going to head up this direction. No issues there. Yeah, that seems absolutely okay. We'll continue to reinforce our fleets here. Perfect. And they took back the LR9 Singularity. Where is this fleet at? The one that we sent over to the Tunari Vortex. Where indeed? Is it gone? Did it get wiped? Is it missing? No, it's not missing. I don't know where this fleet went. Our void Presumably it got intercepted by something. But what? We have a fleet combat status here in the Wild Door system. That's not it. This isn't it. It probably would have been... Yeah, it would have been this one. Okay. So, it went through Franfred. Okay. That's a lot of forces in Franfred. Noted. So, this is the fleet here. And it definitely needs reinforcement. Let's bring it back to Mecca's for the time being. And let's also bring this attack swarm. Or no, that's all of it. Hang on. There was a fleet that was up here that was small, though. Was there not? This one. It's already back in Mecca's. Okay. I wanted to pull it back to Mecca's. So that's reasonably fine. Enemy we'll continue taken. to work on pumping out those ships. If they want to sit this hard in Franfrid, I guess Crushing that's fine. Actually, most of them just left. For the moment, this is okay. We're going to need to head back to Kiyu eventually, but... Yeah, we definitely need to continue to reinforce these fleets. So that explains why this jumped up to, saying, 100k. Oh, we don't have the minerals. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it was 100k, so that's fine. Our avoid it's not super shocking, I guess. But it is sad. No doubt about it. Okay, so this attack swarm is fine. We're going to be attacking here, and then we're heading up this direction. Yes, that looks correct. And then we're going to push through up here. As far as this force goes, Odlaman, yep, that looks correct. We're done in Lemsa, so we head to Larstal. And we're 983 right now. What is this strength? 914. So I kind of want to group these together at this point. So we jump drive up over here with this force so they get there nice and quickly. And then they would land here and then they'd be combined together with this force. There we go. Scum and villainy, sure. That seems fine. We're going to continue to press through here. We do of course need to land Hostile back this way. So for now, that's reasonably fine. They're attacking Jard Lafon, which is expected. And we do Our want to continue to... Mm, let's see here. Yeah, you're okay. We, can, we want to continue to reinforce this fleet. So a lot of menace and corvettes being built there. We have a couple of cruisers being built as well. Let's just... We can't hit the reinforce fleet button right now. Okay. This fleet doesn't exist. Let's make it exist. Okay. So that's fine. The 25th Attack Swarm is being worked on. Crushing and yeah, this force is definitely being reinforced. We'll continue to work on that. They're attacking pretty heavily over in Jardlathon, but keep in mind the Valert forces here are kind of getting demolished in their homelands. I'm not sure why they're not defending their homelands, but okay. If that's what they want to do, we'll accept it. So we're going to go attack Volkal. That'll be fine. Once we have this all cleaned up, we can definitely respond to this down here at that point. So we've got the fourth attack swarm being worked on down here. That seems fine. And we want to attack Cosmalian at this point. 
Cool. The question is, do we want to bring this fleet up? And the answer is obviously yes, we do. And I'm going to have this general pop down here to handle that. We're going to head up to Rovonic, although we need to actually have them selected. We'll head to Rovonic and we'll land here. And then we'll just push our way up. That'll be fine. They've strayed from the hive mind indeed. Our space hive is lost. So we're attacking over here. This is no problem. Crushing a hostile hive. There we go. They've got basically nothing left. Perfect. Enemy nest taken. So now, of course, we can head over to Akalam and we'll land on Valu 2. That is 269 and 269, so no problems over here. Kazmalian will, of course, be taken over very, very shortly here. Deviant interference on Bleg. Very rude of them. How dare they be so deviant? Okay, so right now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell off Living Metal. I'm going to sell off Zero. We are not selling Dark Matter. We need our Dark Matter. We're going to sell Rare Crystals. We're going to sell Exotic Gases. We're going to sell Volatile Motes. We're just building up a lot of energy credits right now. Now, I'm even going to sell some food here. That'll do. Now we're going to buy in a bunch of minerals. There we go. Some amount of minerals, anyway. We'll reinforce our fleets and get all of that going. So that's a bunch of menacing corvettes going. Perfect. I want these guys in Kazmalian to head into Scorpio. That'll be perfect. And you're heading into Focal right now? Excellent. Are you being attacked by our station? No. Our hive is under attack. Noted. So that's reasonably fine. We are going to need to... Does Valert have a small force over here? That's going to be annoying for us. But we want to continue to push through up here, I think, for now. This will be fine. We're also currently full on influence and minor artifacts. So let's find military applications here. We're going to do armor damage. And we're going to reverse engineer an arcane technology as well. That'll be fine. At the very center of the city, overlooking the main square, is a grand, ostensibly decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside it are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure, from which the Empress and her board of trusted advisors governed. It's also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending their Empress and her precious Rubricator. With any luck, the Rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's lilac ribbon. We'll see. Okay, what do we got going on down over here? They're just sitting in Jardlafon for right now. Okay, we'll continue to reinforce our fleets. We need a lot more, Crushing but that'll be okay. Okay, we've destroyed the Navi system. Perfect, so we're going to go build that. Where else would we be interested in destroying? Hmm. Looking for interesting options here for that. Epsilon Signi. So we'll head on up there. As soon as we're done in Navi, we'll position in Hazra. Okay, Foco has now fallen. So we're going to push on through to Fear Mathrios. Scorpio is under attack right now, and it's basically gone. There we go. Construction ship has discovered a turquoise fleet in here. Okay. I'm not shocked about that. I'm a little surprised that this construction ship is even here. But okay. So it's out of here. Let's jump drive it. Actually, let's just disband it. I don't think we need it. So that'll be fine. No problem whatsoever there. We're continuing to push through over here. Let's take Seraclis and then head to J. That'll be fine. And then after Fear Mathrios, we can head to Fionis. And that'll free up some of our forces over here, which would be great. We would absolutely love that. We're going to go take Cowick. All is looking good here. The Valert are going to be gone pretty soon. This derelict station was once known as the Star Petal, and it was apparently a celebrated luxury resort in the center of the galaxy nearly a thousand years ago. A small fleet of tugs would drag the station to a new exotic location each year, but Ferodrin Gra 1 appears to have been its last. For unclear reasons, the station was pulled into the gas giant's atmosphere where it suffered critical damage. Curious. Okay, so that's all looking reasonably fine. These forces need to continue to be reinforced. I absolutely do want to put reinforcements into specifically these fleets. We have this fleet over here, which needs a lot, but we are not in a position to do that at this time. So that's okay. We're going to take J here, and then this fleet will be freed up. 
So that's perfect. Have we gotten our invasions over here done? Yes, we have. So we want to go land on Veroladens. That is 269. Yep, that looks good. We've Our not taken Ravanic just yet, but that is underway. Cool. Planetary infestations are gone. So that's all looking reasonably good. Okay, they're attacking over this way as well. That is noted. So we do need to get some fleets together to handle these incursions. I'm thinking about pulling back this fleet, but I really don't think it's necessary. I think that we take this fleet here, which is now freed up, and we bring it back home. It'll go via the Tunari Vortex. Okay, that's actually fine. That would grab Fionis. So this fleet is also freed up. It can come this way as well. So why don't we have both of these fleets, which are now completely freed up, why don't we have both of these go hit the Tunari Vortex? Recess. Then we can deal with this situation and then come down here and deal with these as these fleets get further reinforced. We do need an Admiral here, and you'll do. So that'll be okay. Our is on no attack. problem there. And then we've got our force up in Cowig right now, of course. And that's going to need to go attack Lurus. And yeah, I know these lost. guys are down over here being jerks. Crushing but that's okay. Time. We'll go take out Lurus for the time being. We want to go land in Soao, and that'll be wonderful. 269 there, so no problem whatsoever. The Picklings are going to have a very hard time dealing with this situation without the Valer. Oh, we are out of energy credits. That's not great. We don't want to be out of energy credits. So let's sell off some rare crystals here. That'll be okay. And let's sell off some food as well. Sure, that'll do for now. We have a lot of locations here, and that's to be expected. I do want to continue to reinforce our fleets. We actually are, I think, pretty close to having our alloy fleets reinforced. Uh, they still need some work. Okay. Our void hive is under attack. So Lurus has fallen. We can now grab all of this up over here, and then from there head directly back to Unar and take Hostiles over these areas. So the Pictlings are virtually alone Our at this point. They're not attack. entirely alone, but Our they're virtually alone. We do want to let this force move through, Enemy which nest taken. they will soon. And then these guys are still just chilling back this way for the time being. And I'm completely okay with that for right now. You are gonna jump through? 60 days, huh? Our Why is it gonna take you 60 days? Lost. Okay, I guess you're just moving slowly. Our sure. point hive is under attack. So that's reasonably fine. We're going to have this all under control very soon. Have we attacked down here yet? Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's bring these lads up over towards, say, Cosmalian, and we'll land on Vrolgand. Yeah, 484 there will be fine. And then over here we want to land. There's a couple of locations to land on, 1375 and 1089. Both of these are kind of strong. What is the actual strength of this? 1.8? Okay, that's going to be a little bit painful. We're out of energy credits again. Honestly, I think this is mostly just due to the fact that we're taking all of this over, right? And there's almost certainly some locations that we need to delete stations from, but I don't know where they would be. Crushing For now, it's okay. Our void is okay, attack. let's get this all completed. That'll be fine. They're just sitting down over here for right now. This is powerful, yes, but there's not a lot to do about it right now. This energy credit situation does need to get dealt with. So minus 500 right now, what is consuming this? I think it's mostly purging, but it doesn't itemize purging here, which is sad. I think that would be considered a job. So if we were to look at, say, this location, and we look at the populations, they've got this undesirable job, right? Planet deficit minus 13. Okay, that's not so bad. So, I mean, there's the undesirable job here with 49 people there, obviously. Minus 40 is the deficit. Here. Okay, so that's probably what we've got going on overall is just these new planets that need to be worked on. Hey, we get some energy credits. That's nice. That will buy us a little bit of time anyway. Okay, so we're going to head up to Cosmalian. That'll be fine. How are we doing over this direction? So these guys can head into Karos and then into Zandabon to take out that Pictling fleet. That'll be absolutely okay there. 
We successfully fended off the invaders on Xandabon Prime, which is mildly surprising. Our Void Hive is under attack. Okay, so we're going to be landing up over this direction, and we've basically isolated the Valert at this point. They have Planet very little left in down. terms of spaceborne assets, and we're working our way through them. I would like to continue to reinforce a fleet here, but not this fleet. This fleet's at full strength. This one needs to be further reinforced, Our although it's close to attack. being at full strength. Yeah, it's very close. Recess. So that's great. We're going to attack over here with these two fleets, although one of them is a lot slower than the other. No doubt about that. Our space hive is lost. But that's okay. We'll just sit back here. This is our alloy fleet, so that's probably for the best. Let's move these guys over to Mecca's now, and we are going to get them repaired. Crushing Perfect. So we're done in Kismalian. Let's head over to Scorpio for right now. Although, you know what? We should probably come over and land here. This is going to be relatively difficult for us. Actually, we need to reinforce this. Okay, so we'll do that for now. Technology conceived. And we'll move these forces on over. That is minerals from jobs. Okay, sure. We'll grab nanite transmuters for right now. I think that's okay. And we'll continue to reinforce our ships here. So we're just pumping our these ships out for right now. Attack. Our general up here died. And our we'll be bringing in reinforcements lost. here, although <laughs> it's not going well. There's the reinforcements, and they were absolutely necessary, which is sad. Very sad indeed, but we'll just pump our way through these remaining defensive armies. No real problem here. Chemical warfare, okay. Cool. So now we'll land on Verladens as well. Excellent. 18th attack swarm here. This fleet does not need to exist. We'll get rid of that. Epsilon Signy has been eaten, so we should definitely consider going somewhere else. Dima's Maw is actually not a good place because we want that dark matter. And it's not a star. So, I mean, there's that. For now, I think it's okay. Like I said, it's kind of backburnered. Uh, they've attacked over here again. Sure. Crushing. For now, I want to go push them out of Bayum. So, we'll definitely go do that. Let's just go join, or rather group up right here for right now. That'll be okay. We've successfully invaded somewhere. Okay. So yeah, the Pixlings are definitely flowing through over here, but the Valert are pretty much eliminated at this point. We just need to go through and take out their planets, which is exactly what we're working on. So this looks good. And this is a little painful. And also our lack of energy credits is painful. That's for sure. Our lack of energy credits is quite painful. Technology conceived. Okay, this fleet is now at full strength. Cool. And let's grab, say, Living Reactive Armor. The archaeologists working on the Star Petal have gathered sufficient clues and evidence to paint a reasonably clear picture of the station's final days. A stray asteroid impacted the station, knocking it into an orbit that would soon plunge it into Ferodrin Gra 1's atmosphere. Station-keeping thrusters could not compensate, and the command staff soon issued an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the station only had enough escape pods to evacuate a fraction of its passengers, and mass panic soon erupted. Those who were not trampled to death perished when the station's environmental systems failed, as it drifted deeper into the gas giant. Curious. Okay, so we're going to go attack Bayam here. There's not that many forces here, actually. Remarkably. So we're going to take these out. Unfortunately, not all of these guys are here yet. Yeah, the Martin Row attack swarm is a bit behind the times here. However, our menacing fleets are more than enough to deal with this. Cool. Now we're going to group all of these guys up here because we want to jump into Jard Lafon and deal with these forces. Actually, they're coming in to attack us. Okay. Well, this is going to be fine, I think. I think. The Varan are going to have a hard time replenishing these forces. First things first, let's reinforce what we can. Second thing second, I do think edicts are necessary here. This is a little bit dicey, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to grab our focusing crystals, we're going to grab our volatiles, and we're going to grab exotic gases for shield boost as well. This is technically defensive territory, so we'll have the fire rate. 
And I mean, Not the Varun commonality, their fleets are untouched and pristine, right? But it doesn't actually matter. This fleet is definitely a lot slower than our other fleets. But it will be able to sit back and fire its artillery for a while while they fight our menacing fleets. We're definitely going to have our naval cap dropping. That's for sure here. No doubt about that one. So, I do want to come up over this direction and land in Scorpio. We need to continue to grind our way through these planets. 554 looks good. And we do have reinforcements streaming in here as well. They've definitely done a lot of damage, particularly to this fleet here, which I'm going to retreat this fleet. Our swan is lost. Okay. This is basically their entire force, remember. So even if we lose this, we're significantly bloodying their entire force. And I think we are going to end up losing this one. But we're doing a lot of damage to them. This force should be retreated. Now this one should be. I'm retreating that a little earlier because that's an alloy fleet. And then we'll retreat this one as well. So, we did a lot of damage to their force there. I'm actually content with that. That was a good outcome, as far as I'm concerned. We're still landing on Scorpio there, and our forces should be back fairly soon. They'll probably be back in Mechas, is my guess. And we can grab an unyielding perk here. Absolutely interested in... I mean, I guess Never Surrender is okay. They're going to continue to flow through over here, but they're sending forces over. So how much forces do they actually have here? Yeah, this is not a lot. So this is almost their entire force, and we were close to defeating them with their force nearly concentrated. That's a very good sign, and keep in mind that the Valert have no way to re replace any ships that were lost, unlike us. We absolutely can replace ships that were lost. And we'll get to work on that. Enemy missed, take so Scorpio has fallen here. We need to land on Verladen's. 1731 there. Actually, we can't land there. So let's head up to Seraclis first, and let's land here. 1717. Okay. Never mind. Maybe Fear Mathrios? 269. That's better. We should also probably get some additional armies going here. Let's get a month tick here and get at least a few of these going. There we go. Very sad that we can't actually grab these right now. Enemy war invade our mast. Okay, where are they invading us at? They might not win that at Xandabon. Noted. So our forces have come back here. I want to bring them back at Mecca's and we'll get repairs. We do need a leader here. We'll put in Oberview. We also need a leader here. So we'll get Ober one. That'll be fine. And we'll need to continue to reinforce our ships, right? That's definitely Planetary something we're going to need. But yeah, they're attacking us out over here. This is expected. They've retreated in this direction because we significantly bloodied them. Our hive is okay. under attack. That's all noted. This is all completely fine for right now. Let's head over here and bombard here. I also want to get rid of these orbitals because I just noticed them here. So we definitely want to eliminate any of these orbitals that we see. They're useless to us and eat up our alloys, which we don't want. Get out of here. Any others in this system? No? How about an Unar? No. Just checking those around here. With that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue cruising through the Valert Enlightened Kingdom here. We're making very, very good progress. We have them eliminated in space, except that they're going to have some fleets that end up showing up somewhere. I don't know where they're going to end up showing up, but they do have some fleets around that we'll have to continue to crush. But the Valert are nearly eliminated at this point. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.